Grade control in the construction industry today is becoming more and more important to our customers. Customers are beginning to use the grade control technology as one of their key criteria when it comes to buying the actual machine. At Caterpillar, we have several different solutions available to our customer in the area of grade control. That can start out with some of the features that we've talked about earlier, such as stable blade, slope indicate, slope assist, and then the AccuGrade 2D laser systems and the AccuGrade 3D GPS systems, which are blade mounted. Today, what we'd like to talk about, though, is CAT grade with 3D. This is our new integrated GPS solution that we're introducing on the small tractors. And CAT grade 3D will soon be available from our smallest D3K size tractor all the way up to our largest D9T size tractor. But before we start and talk about the new CAT grade 3D, let's go back and talk about all of the grade control technologies that we have available from Caterpillar, starting at the very basic and then moving all the way up to the higher level. With the basic entry level grade control, we have stable blade. Stable blade is basically a feature that helps the operator control the blade movement to take out the variations in the grade surface or the whoop de doos as we call them sometimes. You can think of it like this, a lot of times if you talk to a customer and ask him, how do you know when to raise and lower that blade when you're grading a smooth surface, a lot of times they'll say, I grade by the seat of my pants. Well, that may sound very corny to us, but basically the customer operator is telling us exactly what he's doing to provide a smooth grade surface. He's sensing the pitch of the machine fore and aft, and he counteracts that movement by inputs into the blade control. With Stable Blade, we basically do the same thing. We replicate that process by using a sensor on the blade and letting it talk back to the implement control valve to help uh, complement the operator's input and produce a smooth grade surface. That's the entry level of our grade control and that's called Stable Blade. Now an application for Stable Blade could be anything a customer operator would need to do with the tractor from just general dozing or finish type grading. The next level of technology we have on our tractors is Slope Indicate. As the name implies, it gives the operator the information of what slope the machine is sitting on, whether it's main fall or cross slope information. This type of information could be very useful in helping the operator improve his productivity because in the past, if he did not have this information, he may have to guess whenever he's trying to cut a slope and instead of having to possibly make three passes to get it correct, if he can do it right the first time, he's improved his productivity by 60% or so. So that is a very big production and productivity enhancement for the operator. And that is standard equipment on all cat dozers from the D3 up to the D8T. Moving on up to the next level of technology is slope assist. Slope Assist is the entry level of really true automatic grade control. And if you look about the work that our customers are doing on job sites today, they don't really have to be grading to a half a tenth of a foot all of the time. A lot of the work that is trying to be done is simply trying to get a surface to where the water will run from point A to point B. And this is where Slope Assist really comes in as being valuable to our customers. It basically controls the blade angle and the cross slope direction and then also the main fall direction. Main fall slope is fore aft, cross slope is side to side. So with slope assist, the operator now knows that he can control those blade angles to a specific value to enable him to create a smooth slope surface without the use of any offboard gear such as GPS systems that we would use on the higher level technologies. Now one important point to understand about slope assist is that it does not grade to an elevation. 
slope assist does not grade to an elevation. Therefore, the operator has to have a reference point in which to start at and able to create the slope he desires. And on each additional pass, he has to use that same reference point to create a smooth grade surface. Slope assist on the small tractors, the D3 through the D5K, is part of the ARO. The ARO is an attachment. ARO stands for AccuGrade Ready Option. Applications you could use this in is anything on a job site where we're trying to get water to flow from point A to point B, or doing slope work, shoulders on roads, uh, slopes in pond, retention ponds, things of that nature. Landfills is a good example. Okay, let's keep moving up the technology ladder and uh, move into uh, laser. Laser is the next level of grade control where we're able to control two different planes, 2D as we refer to it sometimes. Laser control requires a laser uh, to be the reference point that's used to keep us on a particular elevation. Uh, examples of applications where this could be used would be doing different building pads where concrete work is being uh, done. And the real benefit in using laser 2D is that it can help you actually save money on the material that you're using to get the work done. So a lot of customers have seen they can save enough material, let's say on a 50,000 square foot concrete pad pour, in order to pay for the AccuGrade laser system. Very beneficial, good value system. The next level up would be GPS, and with that product, we call that our AccuGrade GPS 3D. And that's where we have mask located on top of the blade, and then our receivers on top of the mask. And this enables the operator customer to actually do design work to a design plan that you would load in a file on the tractor. And it controls the job site in a 3D design. The next level of GPS grade control that we want to talk about today is our new CAT grade with 3D. CAT grade 3D basically has the same functionality as our AccuGrade GPS 3D in that it will control the blade three-dimensionally automatically to a digital job site plan. If you remember when we talked about our AccuGrade 3D blade mounted system, the masks were mounted on top of the blade. With CAT Grade 3D, the mask and all the components are integrated into the machine and are a permanent fixture of the machine when it is sold. So everything is contained on the machine. That is the key difference. It still generates the same accuracy, the same functionality as our blade mounted mask system, uh, which is our AccuGrade GPS 3D. Let's talk about the components that make up the CAT Grade 3D system. Basically, CAT Grade 3D does the same functionality as AccuGrade GPS, so we have the same components. So let's start out and look at those. Obviously, we have to have an antenna. The key difference here with CAT Grade 3D is that our antennas are actually located permanently to the tractor on top of the cab. We use two different antennas mounted side by side. This is very important that we use two. Two are required so you're able to get the orientation of the machine correctly as it's moving across the job site. If we only had one receiver and the machine started to crab down the hill, the system would not know that and our accuracy would not be correct. So with two, that's a big advantage. Also, we have to have receivers. In the former AccuGrade mask, the receivers were inside of the white dome receiver that was mounted on top of the mask. With the new CAT Grade 3D, the receivers are actually not mounted in the white dome antenna. They are mounted inside the cab as a separate component for better protection. Then also we have to have other pieces, other components of this system. These are actually new to the grade control system for CAT Grade 3D. 
We have to have cylinders now that we call position sensing cylinders. All that means is that this cylinder knows exactly how far the cylinder rod is extended or retracted. You can think of it as a uh, yardstick inside the cylinder actually knowing what the length of the cylinder is. This is what helps give us the information of knowing exactly where the cutting edge of the blade is located at. Also we use what we call an IMU or an inertia measurement unit. This is located inside the frame of the tractor and this helps provide information of the machine's pitch as we're dozing along to help provide the correct grade. Next we have to have a control display box. It's the same box that we use for uh, our AccuGrade GPS 3D that's mounted inside the cab of the tractor. Also we have to have a radio to communicate the information from the base station that we'll have on job site to the tractor. This is the same radio that we would use with the AccuGrade GPS and it would either be a 450 megahertz radio or a 900 megahertz radio. Either one has benefits that uh, can be useful. Also a very important component that we have to have is the job site plan and the job site plan is information that is on a digital file which can be loaded off a memory stick like this onto the control display in the cab of the tractor. And then after we have all that on the machine, that's basically the same functionality that we have on our AccuGrade GPS 3D systems. The key difference is all of this gear is integrated into the machine permanently mounted to the tractor. Now as, as with any GPS control system, we have to have one other component and that is some type of signal to communicate the GPS corrections to the tractor and that is called the base station. So just as with AccuGrade GPS 3D, we have to have a base station. We also have to have the same thing here with our CAT Grade 3D uh, and that is a base station on the job site. As a side note, if you have a tractor equipped with power pitch, you'll want to pay attention to the block that comes with the tractor. It looks like a large paper clip. It needs to be attached to the cylinder to be sure and lock it in place so you will be able to provide the most accurate grade when you're using either slope assist or cat grade 3D or laser. With cat grade 3D, we have two different modes that can be operated in. Rough grade is where you have protection down to grade with the center portion of the blade, meaning the machine will not allow the blade to go below your target elevation with the center of the blade. You still have full tilt capability if you want. The other mode is grade protect. In this particular mode, the corners of the blade or the whole blade cutting edge will never go below your targeted elevation while you're grading. Thus it's called grade protect. Okay, let's go back and summarize everything that we have mentioned about CAT grade 3D. First off, we talked about the application and its functionality. Basically, it's the same functionality as we had with our AccuGrade GPS 3D systems. The key difference is that these components are permanently mounted, integrated on the tractor. It still can do the same 3D type work that the AccuGrade GPS blade mounted system can do. We talked about the components. Let's just cover those real quickly. We have the antenna, which is mounted on top of the cab. That's the white dome that you see. We have two different antenna. That was important because we said we need both of those to be sure we're able to measure the correct orientation of the tractor as we're grading. Then we have the receivers, which used to be mounted inside those white dome antenna boxes like on AccuGrade, but now they are mounted inside the cab for additional protection. Also, we have a data radio that's mounted up on the side of the tractor in the air conditioning uh, compartment on the back of the tractor. This is the data radio that communicates between 
the base station and the tractor to give it its corrections whenever doing finished grade type work. We talked about the pos cylinder position sensors that are have on the tractor. These are nothing but cylinders that have sensors inside the cylinder that measure the length of the cylinder. Remember we talked about it's like a cylinder with a yardstick inside. It just knows whatever length the cylinder is at at all times. And this is what allows us to be sure that we know where the cutting edge of the blade is. We mentioned we have an IMU. That's located inside the frame of the tractor. This basically gives us the pitch of the machine fore aft and side to side. And then we have to have the display, which is mounted inside the cab of the tractor in the dash. Same display that we use with AccuGrade. Also, we have to have data for the job site. And that we can load on the machine with a memory stick like this. It's digital information, so we would load the job plan onto the display. And lastly, we need a base station so we can communicate the correction factors to the tractor. So as you see with CAT Grade 3D and along with all the other features that we have, we have a lot of grade control solutions for you, the customer. And then on top of this, we have one last solution which is called UTS or Universal Total Station. Um, this system uses a transmitter with a machine one-on-one -on -one to give you the very finest digital accuracy that you can get with a grade control system. We've covered several grade control features today that we offer from Caterpillar. Our objective here at Caterpillar is to be sure we understand your needs and provide you solutions at a fair price that will generate good value to you. Starting out at the very simplest level with stable blades, slope indicate, slope assist, laser, GPS blade mounted, and also lastly our newly introduced CAT grade 3D and also the UTS. One aspect of machine grade control that's very important to our customers is support. And at Caterpillar, our CAT dealers have a dealership called Site Tech. This support group is there to help support you with any questions that you may have on software, files, equipment, transmitters, base stations, anything of that nature that you need. So this is a real key advantage to our customers that decide to invest with CAT on grade control solutions. We'd encourage you to visit your local CAT dealer and learn more about these new grade control features that we have available today. Thanks for your time.